Now, g'day, D-Block. Um, in, in these sort of series of videos, we're going to look at how to build this very simple floor plan um, of a bathroom. Um, we're going to start th in this video tutorial by setting up CAD, uh, giving it the specs we want to work with, and then we're going to build the, the walls. We're going to place the walls. There are two different ways to do the walls, but we're going to just use a very simple command in AutoCAD, um, one that is, is easy to use so that you can remember it going forward. So we open up CAD, and it should look like this. And the very first thing you're going to do is type in units, right, enter, and you're going to make sure it's decimal. Let's go to a whole number for precision. And then your insertion scale needs to be sitting on millimeters, all right, because that's what we work in. Okay, now it's ready. It's set to draw. So every, every time you apply a line, a polygon, circle, arc, whatever it is that you're drawing, it's going to set it or read it, understand it as millimeters. The next thing I want us to do here is to go down to our 2D snaps and I want to make, make sure that that is on so it's light blue and put all your snaps on, right, other than parallel. Uh, we want to use um, CAD's intelligence to uh, sort of predetermine where we might want to snap lines onto uh, lines, etc. You'll see how that works as we go on. The next thing we need to do is I want you to infer line weights. So make sure you click on the your burger menu on the bottom uh, right here, and make sure that line weight is on. If anything is not ticked here, you won't find its, uh, if you like, button or tab along the bottom. So make sure it's ticked on. So line weight is ticked on there, and then also what we want to do is go and further line weight by making sure the line weight snap is on. So now that we're pretty much set up, the very first thing we're going to do is create a layer. Um, you guys will know how to do uh, groups in SketchUp. So layers are very similar. So I'm going to click on the layer properties here. I'm then going to right click under name here and go new layer, right? And I'm going to type in walls, okay? Um, I want to keep the walls that white color, right? And I want the default line weight. I'm going to use at least, I use a 0 0.5 when I do it in my own personal projects, but we'll use a 0 0.4 so that it's not too thick. I'm going to press OK. And so what we have here is one continuous line, so it's not hidden detail, it's not center marking, it's one continuous line at a line weight of 0 0.40, um, and it's going to be white, which will print out black if we print it on a white, uh, a white, white paper. So I'm going to close that down, and we're going to start by going to look at the dimensions of the wall that we're going to be, the walls that we're going to be referring to. So the, let's start with seeing this as a, uh, a square which is, well, it's, it's not quite a square, but it's so obviously more of a rect rectangle. But the, we can see that the, the length and, and width or length and breadth of this wall is 3850. So there it is, 3850 by, sorry, 3250. So the total length along the top, 3850, and down is 3250. So we go back to CAD, and we're going to go do the same thing. So it's 3850. Okay, so I jumped the gun there. Just give me one second. 385 by 325. So we're going to go rectangle command. We're going to, first of all, sorry, make sure we're on walls. I'm going to go rectangle command. I'm going to go 3850 by, and if, sorry, if I go back here, we go 3250. 3850 by 3250. And enter. And that will give me the extents of the bathroom. Now, obviously, we know that there's a there's a, um, a deficit of uh, space here missing. The wall actually moves up here and then to the left, but we'll we'll uh, sort that out in a little bit. So that's fine for now. Now, the next command we're going to use is offset because we've got the outside edge of the um, external load bearing wall. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go offset, type in the command offset, hit offset, and then type in a distance of two two two. Enter. And why 222? Because the load-bearing walls, which are all the walls that make up the bathroom, are a width of 222. Okay, so I'm going to click on this um, wall, outside edge, and I'm going to drag my mouse in, click release and drag, and you'll see it's set to 222, and that gives me the uh, width of the outside wall. Excuse me, let me do that again. Offset 222, specify the distance, enter, click, drag in and click, and there I have the external parameters of the wall. Now we need to go and create this little space here. We go back to the um, question. We'll see that this wall here is offset a total of 1617. So in other words, 
from this outside edge of the wall to this outside edge of the wall is a distance of 1617th parallel, which means we can use the offset command again. All right, so we're going to go back to CAD, remember 1617. What I'm going to have to do, however, here is highlight the whole thing. And because they are, in a sense, polylines and they're all joined, I'm going to type in explode, highlight. I'm going to type in explode and enter. And what you'll see now is that I've released these lines to be individual lines, right? So I'm going to type in offset, again, enter, and I'm going to type in 1617. Let's just go make sure that I'm correct there. 1617, 1617, enter. I'm going to grab the outside edge of this wall and pull it up 1617. So now we've got the outside edge of the external wall at the entrance to the bathroom, right? We know then that this wall has to have a thickness of 222. We've got the external edge of the wall, so I'm going to click on it again and drag up. Now you'll see that it wants to move at 1617 again. So all I'm going to do is while I'm in the command, I'm going to type in 222 and enter. And that gives me the um, width of the wall. I'm then going to have a look at... Um, the, this wall here, so this um, part of the outside edge of the wall, this part of the load bearing wall, we see that it is a, a meter, exactly a meter from this outside edge here to this outside edge here. So we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to go offset, okay? Offset, if you're already in the command, you can carry on and then just manipulate as you go. So offset by a thousand, enter, grab that line, draft it in, grab this one, and I'm going to pull it across a total of. And while I'm in the command 222 and enter. Right. Now we're going to neaten things up a bit. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to go to my trim command or type in trim. It's up to you. And I'm going to go clean up lines that I don't need. I'm clicking and dragging. Click and drag. Um, because I'm trying to do things a little bit quicker. We won't have that in the middle there. We won't have that. We know that that's going to come around as a corner there. We won't have that information. Nor will we have that. We won't have that either. All that. So now, without the window placements and door placements, we have the ex we have the perimeter of the bathroom that we are drawing. So that is how we create and set up the walls um, on AutoCAD. A very simple way, using dimension your your dimensions given, and very simply rectangles or line work with the offset command, and then trim to define the actual boundaries.